Hello, I'm Patrick and I've decided to create a video how to make a scroll playback prototype in Protopipe because I've, see, I, I've seen a lot of people are asking about this, how to make this, they get a lot of problems, they are struggling with this, but in real it's not that tough, it's not that hard to create and I would like to explain everything in this quick tutorial, so let's go. So we are right now in the Protopipe on the new scene and that what we have to do at first is create a new container actually it has to be a scroll container and we set the resolution of the whole scene in my case it will be hd the next step is import our video that we want to play back and be careful to turn off this play automatically feature it has to be turned off another thing that we have to do is select make lower layers touchable why we need this feature because mm, let's open the preview as you can see if we want to scroll down over here then we will not be able because scroll mm, layer will be below our video in layers so so we have to make our layer touchable next step is create a new variable and be careful because we have to create a local variable for this scene because if you use global variable we will not be able to get this feature use formula so we saw we create a new variable for this scene select use formula feature and right here we tap plus button select our container that scroll offset Right now, let's change our name of, of this variable to keep everything organized and, and let's appear this on our scene. Let's open a preview and as you can see, our scroll is working correctly, but unfortunately, it goes back to the zero value. Why? It happens because we don't have any content inside our scroll container. That what we have to do is create a new shape layer that will be this content. But what we will do with this is we will change fill color to the zero to make this disappear and change the resolution. In my case, it will be 420. I will explain you in a few minutes why it's 420. But right now, let's move this shape to our bottom border of the scene. and move our shape to the scroll container in layers panel. Let's open a preview. And as you can see, the value is working correctly. It, it doesn't, it uh, goes back to the zero, uh, like we had this problem before. Okay, and right now we have to create a new variable that we will call hotpoint1. Over here, we have to provide 20. Why? I will explain. So, what's going on with this hotpoint variable and what means 20? The idea of that, how it works, is pretty simple. If we scroll the container by 20, then we will play our video by 0.1 second. So, if user starts scrolling and he hit the first 20 scroll offset, then we play our video by 0.1 second. Later, if he scrolls to the 30, then we play the video another time by 0.1 second and it goes to the 60, 80, 100, etc, etc, till user play the last second of our video. So in short, hotpoint variable that we created tell our video when it has to be played by 0.1 second. Okay, so let's go back to the prototype. And right now we have to create a new detect trigger. To keep everything organized, let's change the name to the detect container one that scroll. Select our container, select scroll. And right now we have to create an assign interaction. Let's change the name of this also to keep everything organized. and select our hotpoint and over here we plus the button select hotpoint plus 20 and right now let's create a send interaction 
and type over here play forward message. Ok, beautiful. Right now we have to close these interactions that we created to the conditions. So we create a new condition and we select over here scroll value and if scroll value is bigger is bigger or it equals our hot point one then these interactions will work right now we have to create a receive trigger that will get that message of play forward and over here we create a new interaction playback we select our video and what's now as you can see we got three different action options but we have select not play but seek action and over here we select seek to formula and the formula that we will have is let's tap the plus button select our video that current time plus 0 0.1 second okay let's open the preview And as you can see, it works perfectly. We can open this up. Our laptop, our MacBook is opening. So it works, but let's change the background to match the colors over here. And as you can see, we got this. Beautiful. And next challenge that we have over here is that our MacBook will not close when we scroll back. So as you can see, we change the value of scroll value, change, uh, actually the value of scroll container is changing to the zero and our MacBook, MacBook is not closing. So what do we have to do? What's the solution? We have to create the same method, interactions with the same method, but instead of playing it forward, we will play it backwards and minus 0.1 second of our video. But before we do this, I think we should change over scroll option to the known instead of bounce because as you could see when we when we were changed the scroll on our prototype, then this value was bouncing. It, it was it, it was it goes like this and it goes back. So we don't want this effect. We 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 have to avoid this. And everything everything that we have to do is change over scroll to known. Okay, so right now let's create a new variable. It will be hot point two. And over here we don't provide any value. We just leave this with zero and don't change anything. But actually we can appear these variables on the scene to, to keep everything tracked. Next step is create a new and assign interaction. Let's change the name to the hot point two. And over here, we have to create a formula like this. Hot point one minus 20. Why, like, why we have to do this like this? Why minus 20? I will show you. Okay, so as you can see, we open our MacBook and these values are different by 20. And why we created something like this? You will see in a moment. But right now, create a new condition. We select scroll value. And if the scroll value is smaller than hot point two, this is actually our first condition. And second condition is hot point one is bigger than hot point two. Over here, let's create a new send message interaction and we provide play backwards over here. Let's rename this to keep everything organized. Right now, we select our hot point one and hot point two interactions from condition above and we change in formula of hot point one assign, we change in formula plus to minus symbol. Another step is create a receive message and we will receive over here play backwards message. And the same thing that we did before, we create playback interaction, action seek, formula, formula is 
video that current time minus 0 0.1 second. Okay, we open our MacBook and we close this. Okay, beautiful. And now it's easy to understand why we created condition like this. So if scroll value is smaller than hot point 2, but hot point 1 condition is bigger than hot point 2, then we change the hot point 1 value by minus 20 and the magic happens actually we can close our macbook and i'm so proud of you because you learned how to create scroll playback prototype in protopy thank you so much for watching this tutorial and in the description you will have a link to download this prototype so you can actually uh, try the same thing with the same video that i have in this in, in this tutorial mm, so it was happy to teach you how to do this and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!